We have had some absolutely crazy things, crazy events happening. This expansion is just absolutely glorious, beautiful, and amazing. However, it can look at times very chaotic and very scary when you're seeing candidates running for office and there are horrible events taking place around that. We're getting shot and, and those types of things can really rock your world. You have to scratch your head and think, what kind of a world are we living in? Well, I'm going to explain in this video what kind of world we are living in and how this is all tied together uh, as part of the ascension process. So we have this idea, and maybe it spans back to religion. If you've had any sort of a religious upbringing, uh, maybe you think that um, things are supposed to navigate or transverse in a certain way, especially when it comes to enlightenment and the ascension journey or the ascension process and what God may have in store for us. Now, these are religious views. These are limited bandwidth views. These are based on teachings and things that you've learned, and maybe you've been programmed from a younger age at how things are going to unfold. Now, last week, um, before the event that took place on Saturday with President Trump, my Pleiadian guide showed me these images of angels coming in and just holding and almost like wrapping their arms around uh, certain individuals. I couldn't make out what it was. It was a very fast image. On my Star Seed Ambassador Tribe group last week, we I channeled all of this live and we were trying to analyze and dissect what all of this could mean. Well, the events that unfolded afterwards really started to bring some clarity into those visions. Now, my Pleiadian guide, sometimes she'll talk about biblical references, but but not a whole lot. I know that the Bible, from how I understand it and the way she's explained it to me, is really an interpretation based on a lower frequency of events or timelines that can potentially manifest. So she's talked to me about um, Exodus and she's talked to me about revelations and things like that. So a lot of the things that we're experiencing in reality could tie back and have some familiarity to what has taken place in the Bible. Now, I am not familiar with the Bible other than what I've researched and what she has um, brought to my attention. However, it's important to note that there's a lot of misinterpretation out there of how events are going to unfold. A lot of people will look at these scriptures and look at these texts and take things very, very literally. Now, we are on this consciousness ladder. We are stepping up uh, our, our frequency. We are vibrating faster. We are releasing dense energy. And all of these things wrapped up in this process really can manifest in a wacky way in our reality, sometimes in a very tragic way where you're scratching your head saying, well, how can this happen? We had this, this attempt on a, on a candidate's life, a former president's life, and that is absolutely horrific. However, what it did was bump us into a higher frequency timeline. It, it got a lot of people looking, a lot of people talking. It's awakening a lot of people as to what is going on, things that were previously unseen, a lot of this hate, a lot of this fear, a lot of false information flooding the collective. And that brings about lots of very strange and sometimes traumatic events. People are so tied uh, to their beliefs that any threat of a change or shift in their beliefs or their way of living seems to really just completely obliterate the reality that they know. And that can be, be very scary. So people will go through and take more extreme measures to try to protect the very beliefs that they're holding. Now, this, in terms of ascension, looks like bringing forward all of the dense energy, all of the, we, we could term it evil, we could term it reptilian, we could term it control matrix. However you want to see it, there is an element or dense element or energy that is coming to light that wants to keep things the way they have been for eons and eons, a very controlled structure. Now, anyone that comes along and rubs the feathers the wrong way or just threatens that very way of being becomes someone that is utilized as fear, somebody you need to fear. And that fear is represented in such a way that they make you think it threatens your way of being, your very life, your very... Your, your, your reality, 
is going to crumble. Have you heard the term democracy is at stake, right? These types of things, this is all just utter nonsense. This is a way to try to control the collective and keep people in fear. And when you do that and you operate that way, you have people that step up and try to protect the very way of being that they know. And you have these tragic types of events happen. So what I'm asking of you as a light worker is to release what you are feeling about any sort of a landscape, political landscape, any, any of this stuff that's happening in the collective, to start to release that. You may have fear come up. You may hear things that threaten your very beliefs. That's okay. You're being shown something that maybe no longer serves you that you need to let go of. You need to remember that we are here to ground and to anchor love, period. That is the frequency we are bringing into this reality. That is the frequency of new earth. That is the frequency that my Pleiadian guide, every time I connect with her, she thumps me in my heart. I feel it right here. Another experience I had in my membership last week, channeling her live. We are bringing that forward. Anything that doesn't resonate with love needs to be released. Meaning, if there's something that rubs you the wrong way, something that threatens your way of being, your beliefs, know that there is a dense power structure there utilizing that energy to keep you under control, to control you. We are here to become sovereign. We are light workers, star seeds, energetic beings, limitless. We no longer need to live under the fear of a control matrix. And that matrix is falling apart. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. We are all here having this human experience. When we look at one side or the other side, there's polarities. That's a way for us to identify and experience differences, different frequencies of energy. But all of that is coming together into the frequency of love. You are here to hold that space, to hold that frequency, and to allow others to experience it as well. So do your best over this next few months, the rest of the year, to pull yourself out of any of the BS that is being thrown around out there. It's all nonsense. It's all a way to keep you in fear because the old way, the old guard, the old way of being knows that if you are kept in fear and the media knows this well, you can be controlled. Are you ready to stop being controlled? Are you ready to step into the limitless, sovereign, energetic being that you are? Then I ask you to join me and anchor love in the here, in the now. Don't participate in any of the angry nonsense out there. If you find yourself in situations where people are triggered or they're triggering you, amazing opportunity to show them what love and light looks like. The collective is, seems to be lost right now. They have lost that connection with love, with light. Show them, remind them what that is, remind them who they are, and bring that forward as a stable force, a stable presence, and invite them into that frequency. That is what this planet needs right now. That is what this planet is calling for. That is what the galactics are here to help support us in so that we could release the old way of being get out from under this control matrix. It's been there for eons. It is falling apart right before your eyes. This is a glorious, amazing time. Remember who you are. Remember why you came here and incarnated into this human form to assist Gaia in this process, to help raise a collective out of that control structure and bring forward new earth. The time is now. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.